Good morning, welcome to Planet Mojo. I got a ton of work done yesterday, and with any luck, I'll be able to get the skin and the door on this today. But first, I have to cut this off and this off, which are not going to be easy. Okay, I drew some plumb lines on both sides of this. This is the saw that I'm going to start with, but I may have to switch to a saw with a longer blade at some point. This is going to be really hard because I need to keep the blade flat against this wall, so I'm going to have to stand like right here and saw at a weird angle. Yeah, this is not going to be easy, but I need it to be flush with this. This is going to get a T bracket on it at some point. Same with that one. So that's the way it's got to be. So it's going to take a while to cut these, I believe. I'll get both of these cut, then I gotta find the spacks for this, pull this back together, move that, and then I can start cleating down here to rest the panel on. And I believe I'll cut a hole in this siding so that I can clamp the panel in place. The first panel is really important. If you get that one on right, this has three panels on it and it goes over that door. Let's see where that first panel goes to. First panel, I believe we got one, two, three. First panel goes to right here. So yeah, it's right there. I'll get a line drawn on that. I got to make sure that the panel goes to the exact right spot because the next one goes to right here. Yeah, that seems like such a waste, but I don't know. It is what it is. All right, let's get this stuff cut and then we'll worry about that. Okay, we got a problem here. With the profiles matching perfectly, this lower panel is off by, oh, it's right around a half inch. Yeah, it's about a half inch. And the reason for that is in order to get that template up there, I cut that top skin off, took that off, and laid it out on these panels on the floor over in the shed. But when I laid it out, the center was coming a little bit off of the center of the profile. So I just moved it over and aligned it with the center. You could see up there, the center is right in the center of the building, but I shouldn't have did that. The center should have been right on the edge like that that would have moved everything over a little bit. It's not gonna make any difference because we have one panel like on the side of each door. So I just have to know where to nail and nail in the right place. The only problem comes right here. 
I'm going to have to add a little piece of three quarter inch material. My 48 center from that panel over to here ends up being like right here. So it's a little bit off. I need a little bit of material right here and then going this way, it doesn't matter at all. That panel gets cut anyway. So it's not going to really make any difference, but kind of sucks. Okay, let me get this one nailed in place. It's already getting late. I had figured I would have plenty of time. It's already almost two o'clock and I'm still working on the first panel. This other stuff, cutting that stuff off took a long time. And oh, I was running all of this scrap wood down to the fire pit down there and I reconsolidated the fire pit. So that probably took about an hour. Okay, let me get this nailed in place. Then I'm gonna have lunch and come back at it. I'm gonna do whatever it takes to get this done today. So no matter what, it's gonna get done today. Ah, oh, man, never ending problems. Okay, we got the first panel in. I will be so glad when we're done with this remodel stuff. This thing is 20 years old and it was just a storage shed to start with. So everything's just a little bit out and I have to kind of fudge everything to fit, but it's going pretty good. This panel looks real good. You can see it's like three quarters at the top and a half inch at the bottom, but all of these all of these new studs are plumb and the door will fit in here just fine. The only thing I got to watch for is matching up with the profile on the top and getting a nice edge at the bottom, which shouldn't be too hard. I'm going to go cut that next panel and I'll get back with you once I have that fitted in place. Well, again, I ran out of time. It's already going on six o'clock and I think I'll have just enough time to trim this door out. I actually don't have that time either, but I'd like to be ready to go tomorrow morning. Yeah, I know, Kitty. So I'm gonna trim out that opening and then call it a day. I don't think I'm even gonna clean up. I'm pretty exhausted. Okay, let's get this done. And there you have it, a beautiful six light door and a six light window. Another six light window going on this other side. This place is really shaping up. 
Yeah, it's the next day. I just got exhausted yesterday. I'm really tired today, too. Today, I cut all of our grass, which is a big chunk of these pastures now. So it took oh, a little over five hours to do all that. Then I came and got this door in. I'm going to do a little bit of adjustment on it, but for the most part, it's about perfect. Next thing I got to do is get in here and clean this place up again. Get everything cleaned up and moved off of this wall. And then this wall's going off next. We've got a window going right here. And we're going to put an air conditioner in that window. So it's a little easier to work in here for the electrical and all that other stuff. So if you want to see that, make sure you subscribe and click on the update icon. If you have any questions or comments, make sure you put them in the comment section below. And if you share the video and or give it a like, it helps the channel out greatly. Thanks for watching and have a great day.